Alright guys, this is Ace Jet Pilot here with one of my personal favorite games at this moment, FTL. FTL is a real-time strategy game, which, um, you know what, rather than explain it, I'd rather just let the game speak for itself. So we're going to start a game, I don't actually have much experience, so I'm going to start on easy, although easy is difficult enough. I picked this up on the Steam sale which it was only five bucks I think in total it's only like fifteen bucks now so this it's a small indie game but really well done um, like I said I've only played maybe about three hours five hours of this game but it's just so good I only have two ships um, the Taurus which you get for going halfway and then you have the Kestrel now I actually haven't flown the Taurus, but we're going to save that ship for later. Let's fly the Kestra. This is the one you start off with. This is the beginning ship. Regular crew. Original configuration. Let's do this. Play until I die. Alright. So. UI. Oh yeah. Power up the guns. So here's my main reactor. And here's the power allotted to every system. If you see the ship, um, in order to get something, let's say a weapon costs two, you have to do it in two areas. You first have to get the reactor capable to put out that power, but you also have to upgrade the system so that system can um, give that power to that area. Otherwise, the power just sits there with the reactor unusable. You can upgrade everything here. Um, oxygen systems, med bay, and engines, shields. Shields will be important. I'm going to try to upgrade that quickly. Um, but the amount of cost ramps up. As you can see, more scrap, which you get from blowing up ships. Sometimes they're given to you. You can sell it. So uh, yeah, let's start this off. Oh yeah, fuel. Important. Every time we jump, we're going to be expending fuel. So civilian sector. Always where you start off nice and easy. Let's respond to this distress call. Refugee ship drifting in space. It's a trap. All right. So he's really an easy kill. So I'm actually not. Ah, dang, I disabled my burst laser. I'm not gonna use the Artemis, although it would be quicker to kill him. I'd rather try to conserve my missiles, as it looks like. Oh shoot, no, I want him down quick. Oh, but his weapons were out of sync. Okay, good for me. Now, you can pause the game. By the way, spacebar. Let's see. Shields and weapon systems are down. Could always tar target their auction bay. In fact, they have no door to it hit their auction bay and let them slowly suffocate. I think I'm a very humane person. Honestly. So the weapons are down. I don't know if they're going to recover them soon, but I just upped the stakes. Okay, weapons are back. To an extent. Now, the good thing is, he needs both of these weapons to work because this will only take out one bit of shield. A burst laser can penetrate maybe a shield's two times. I'm strong, not three times. That's only gonna barely take him down. This is a one shotgun. The burst laser's three. That's why I can penetrate weapons like that. But he needs this to knock out my shields so this can actually do the damage. So since he doesn't have that weapon system online, I'm just going to go for the kill. It doesn't matter where I shoot him. His shields are still disabled. So I'm just going to end it. Now obviously the enemies are going to get tougher. I got some loot. Oh. <laughs> I got some help from the refugee ship. Okay, we're going to travel up here. So the premise of this is, oh, pirates, the premise of this is, um, you 
are part of a federation that has been broke, like nearly crippled by the alliance, and you have, you know, information that's crucial to, you know, turn the tide of the war. Almost like a Star Wars premise. But, regardless, so your goal is to evade the rebel fleet and you'll see they'll be chasing us and you're you hope not to run into them as little as possible so same configuration oh he has a beam laser okay so burst laser will penetrate their shields and should kill it but I need the Artemis to fire first Missiles can go straight through shields, they just completely ignore him. I need that weapon down because he's gonna fire this, disable my shields, and then tear my ship apart. A beam laser will just cut across your ship, disabling massive amount of systems. That would be ugly. Oh no, oh no. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Okay, that was good. Disable them just in time. So any shot will end him. He got one weapon online, but it's not gonna help. We don't negotiate with pirates. And here's the rebel fleet. So once they re once they this area reaches here, you cannot go back to this system, otherwise they will kill you. Unfortunately, this isn't the best way to go. Your ship, seems, your ship seems outfitted for combat. Care for a bit of mercenary work. Okay, let's listen. So our friends have taken to piracy in the recent chaos war. We'd like you to convince them of the poor decision by severely disabling your, their ship. We'll pay you as long as you don't kill them all. Alright. Alright. Except... Well, oh, never gotten this mission before. Okay, just don't kill them. <sighs> Alright, what do they have? They have a missile launcher. And they have a gun. Should I let my ship take a few hits for the sake of it? Well... Reverse laser will probably do two hits here, Artemis will take two hits here. But another burst or Artemis will end them. Alright. Let's hope this works. Disabling their weapons makes them as good as vulnerable. Let's hope this works. Engine took a hit. Didn't do as much damage as I thought I would. So let's disable the weapons for good. <laughs> alright, alright. Oh, this is good. Ion laser. I'll save them from death, I guess. Okay, damage the system, let that repair. Ferris took a hit from the last two, so I'm gonna send him to the mid bay. So, twofold. I'll add a power here, and I'll add a power bar here, allowing me to allocate power to the ion blast. Now, this should, in theory, this weapon should knock out the shields of an enemy ship, which is great. Plus, if their shields is down, are down, I can actually disable a specific subsystem as well. Alright, you're all healed up. Do I really want you on engines? I really think shield is a better way to go. You know what? How much experience do you have on the engines? I guess not much, but... Let's just leave this configuration for now. Okay, so I gotta go for, through a nebula. So, nebulas will slow them down, but it's gonna make it more difficult for me. And 
you'll see why. Okay. Wow. No danger. Yeah, I lose all sensors. I can't see even within my ship. Although I could if I think... No, not even then. Not even with a crew manning it, I can't, I can't see. Wow. I guess nebulas can do a lot worse. Yeah, see, the, their expansion is much slower. But sometimes they'll drop my power a lot and I'll lose oxygen and life support systems. It's ugly. So, I guess I can go up and around. Only one more jump in this nebula. Well, okay, two burst lasers, so one will penetrate my shield, the next one will hit me. Okay, so obviously ion blast, let's hope it does some damage to the shield. I'm gonna leave the Artemis out. I'm gonna try to conserve some missile ammo. My Ion Blast should pave the way, hopefully. Okay. Shield's temporarily down. But I'm about to take a hit. Okay. Non critical system hit. Let's make sure that shield stays down there. Keep pressure on them. Will they escape? No, they won't. Oh, that's a little, too little, too late. Defensive drone. Okay, I need a drone system to do that, though. So that's good. Well, once I get a system, but it's not its not cheap. It's like 75 scram. But this will allow me to um, survive some shots. It'll block a few things for me. Ooh, a store seems tempting, but I think I'm going to go up and over. Yeah, yes, we have an extensive stock of weapons. Uh huh. Goodbye. Wow. I'm not even sure if that's supposed to surprise me. Okay. I am Blast takes out the shield. Burst laser gets uninterrupted shots straight into their weapon system. Should knock them out. Ooh, this is gonna hurt though. Was able to stop them, so that is actually a decent offer. Get one fuel, two missiles, let them scrap. He is a pirate. We shall not accept surrender. Fire! Oh god, actual fire. Okay, enough of this. Goodbye. Oh, you're running. Run. Run, 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 run. Run, run. This is a te technique I like to call opening the dang airlock. Goodbye. <laughs> Good save my stuff. Okay, that choked out the flame. You're still alive. Wait for the as long as there's no bars there, I'm good. Okay, let's repair the engine here. What do you get help too? Okay, now to the store. Alright, I could get a drone control. It's gonna cost me most of my scrap. I don't need much fuel or missiles. Shield charge booster would be nice. Could repair some damage. It's on page two. Oh, grew. Mm. Do I really need another crew person? Eh. 
let's skip on that. I'd really like some cloaking. Oh. That would be a nice addition, but it's really expensive. Crew teleporter, but I don't really have any fighting crew that would do some serious damage. Shield charge booster. 15% to my shield boost. Not bad. Now, the problem with the drone control is, just like the weapon system, it's a lot to set up, so I probably won't be able to use it immediately. Let's add some fuel, let's repair our damage, and let's buy a shield charge booster. Could sell that and get a crew member. Let's do that, actually. Let's get an NG. configuration. That's all the manable stations that will give us a boost. Well, besides the doors and the surveillance, those help as well. Okay, let's jump down here, jump to that other system adjacent, and then get out. Ooh. Rebel ship. Oh, this thing can't penetrate. This just has one shot. It'll hit my shield, but nothing else. Okay, so I can take this easy. Shields. First laser will take out its only gun it has, and... That'll be the end of it. Oh, I missed. Wow, this thing's evasive. Alright. Okay, weapons are down. That'll buy me time. Okay, shields hit. That's enough to take them down. Should really hit the engine next. Let's knock that out. Okay, our is gonna have to go into the back of this. That's down. That should end it. All right. Got some nice bit of scrap there. Refueled a little bit. Let's jump up here. I don't have enough to really make the store worthwhile. So let's jump up here and jump to the exit. And after that, I'll cut off the video and we'll make this a multi-part series. I'm the Dread Pilot, Dread Pirate, Tuco. Prepare to die. No, Tuco, you prepare to die. Shields. Burst laser right into the back. That's all I really need to hit. Ooh. I'm gonna take that off. That's a nice amount of fuel. Station. Hey, we get another defense drone. How f close is the Rebels? Yeah, I will never get to a store because hmm, I could actually do it. But is there anything I need? Now, nah. let's jump. Next sector. Okay. So this is all procedurally generated, so this is going to be different every time. If I take the top, I'm going to get a bunch of nebulas. If I take the bottom, it's going to be less... Definitely, they're going to chase me a lot easier. But, it's going to be less dangerous. Because nebulas are notorious for also knocking out power, which is a nightmare of its own. 
So what do I have ahead of it? And then if I had civilian, civilian, hostile, hostile, civilian, and ends in hostile. All right. Let's take the safer road. Nebula nebulas are just too much of a toss-up. Alright. Let's jump down to this cluster here. See as much as we can. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Toll. Oh no. Wow, well, that sucks to be me. Teleporter. Alright, alright, that's fine, that's fine, I can deal with this. Systematically destroy every part of this ship. And oh, that's just... That's just wrong. Alright. I'll take the guy off the shield. See, the stupid thing... The good thing for us this time is that they well, kind of foolishly chose the medical bay as their room, and you, as long as you're a crew member, you get continuously healed by this room. So he's just going to fight in vain. I've disabled the teleporter, so most likely he will not be able to teleport back. Let's just make sure of that. That is another great offer. I think I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Okay. Let's go time. We are gonna go for this now because if we don't, oh no, oh no, 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 this is bad, this is bad. Because they have a beam which will knock out our shield, plus they have two beams. Okay, this drone is a beam drone. That is gonna make life very bad for us very soon. Okay, so we're gonna take weapons off. Focus on disabling those those systems, otherwise it's going to be very bad. Okay, we didn't take their... We didn't take their engines down, but at least we took down everything else. Keep it up, keep it up. We gotta prevent it from jumping out. Now we focus on the engine. Okay, FDL's gone, and the ship is gone. Ooh, that was a race against time. Yeah, life would have been hell otherwise. Could try jumping through a few nebulas. Slow down the time a little bit, giving me a little bit more time to find stuff. Fuel for drones. Sure. Fuel is very crucial. At least I won't have to worry about running out of fuel. I don't need that many drone schematics. Another fire. Okay. Two beams again, so he's gonna provide some hurt if we're not careful. I am blast. Straight into the shield. Burst laser will make sure the weapons go down and the Artemis will follow up. You know what? Switch that around. Artem Artemis will disable their weapons. Just making it easy. Okay, now time for the ion blast into the back of its engine. Should temper temporarily delay it. Good. Just enough time for me to plant three shots into the back of its engine and die. This is actually a good time to boost up my shield. That cost me quite a bit, but I got an extra shield bar. Meaning, I should be generally invulnerable to the vast majority of stuff.
and all of a sudden, I now know where everything is. Oh, it must have been when I killed him. I didn't read what it said, but I must have got something off of him that lets me do that. Which is possible. There's also long range scanners, which I should probably get as well at some point. So, ship that way. Let's head down here to the distress point and let's see if we get enough loot. If so, we'll go to the store. Straight again, we have so much fuel. It's distress beacon. Oh, got equipment. Wow, that's gonna be a race. They are gonna advance very fast. I think it's better just to head up here, go here, and hit the exit. Because if I run into the rebel fleet now, I'm as sure as dead. Of course, it's a pirate. Okay. straight on their shields they have two bursts they have two burst lasers a burst laser one and two that shouldn't be a problem though I should get missiles next time I'm a bit I can find an available fire I'm gonna leave the Artemis out of this fight he actually should have a general trouble it's not doing much. It's not worth. But the system is disabled. And now it's gone. Uh, let's keep that shield offline so even if they repair it. Get some interference on it. And finish them off. Let's hope that civilian ship gives us stuff too. Got a nice bit. Oh, great. Yes. So, I could upgrade the shields technically one more time. How much would it cost actually? It would actually cost me all my points and I don't even have enough of the reactor. So let's actually hold off on that. Let's go to this possible ship detected area. Whoa. Never had this before. Beacon has been placed too close to super giant last M star. The ship will gradually overheat. Until you get out of here or die. Oh god. Oblivious to the danger of the sun. Yeah, don't mind me just dying. I've never had an, a situation dealing with heat. But that shouldn't matter. All that matters is I take him down and I take him down fast. Put the iron blast on their stuff over there. Well, that was quick work. Let's just hit their engine and just be a little bit extra cruel. Plant some shots into the engine. Yeah, that's good. FDL still charging. I don't know where this heat will come from. Solar flare imminent. Come on, FTL, go, go. Oh God. Okay, let's jump out of here first. <laughs> Got another burst laser. Yay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Quick, 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 quick. We need this. Send the entire crew in here. Oh, that's bad. Okay, you two are relatively high on health. You... Oh, of course it takes out the engines. Well, it takes out the... Pilot seat. Quick repair of that. Since all the humans look the same, it's hard to tell which one goes where. Only one I actually know is the NG. Okay, you go here. You're gonna... Where do you go? What are you good at? Engines. Okay, you're gonna go back to the engine room after you heal. This guy is 
good at weapons. You are healed up. Take the pilot's seat. Uh, so that's what happens. And with that, I will jump to the next area. So I have two control. NG controlled or Mantis homeworlds. Although NG has their own unique thing to them, I gotta say, I'd probably rather go than Mantis. I'd probably see more action, which means I'd be in more danger, but I'd be able to do a little bit more with it. Actually, before we even do that, let's get this burst laser one online. It's not our best weapon, it won't be, but hey, it's a weapon. Okay, don't have much to go off of, but let's go to the Mantis Homeworlds, and I think this is a pretty good stopping point for the video. I will continue this in the next part. I'm going to keep going at this until I die, and see what goes on from here. So that's it guys, um, this is FDL, first few levels, obviously it's going to get a lot harder. I've never actually completed or won because once you get to the mothership, oh it gets, it gets interesting. But um, yeah, like this video, hit the like button, like this channel, subscribe, and if you have a comment, well, leave a comment. Overall, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.